What's up guys, welcome back to another episode in my road to 100 million gold. Um, so today we're going to obviously go through the numbers and we're going to take a look. I'm going to show you uh, quickly how I deal with legendaries, my approach to legendaries. So uh, yeah, let's dive in, look at that and then we'll look at the numbers. All right, so here we are. I've um, just finished posting all my auctions, which is what you want to do when you're doing legendaries. Because um, I'm using an add-on called Legendary Stock Tracker which is how I uh, <laughs> track my stock. So now that I've posted everything, there's nothing in my mailbox. I'm going to type slash LST in chat to bring up the uh, the UI here. Then we'll go to the export tab and just part paste all this data. And then we go into, um, actually we should have had that appear the, uh, the Google doc. And you got a split text to columns. And now if I go to the restock all page, um, it'll very helpfully show me my current stack or current stock of things I have. And then I usually go through and I restock manually. I've not implemented like a crafting operation. Um, so my typical approach has been to craft at least two of each. I've bolded, personally bolded the ones that are in non shard of domination uh, slots and they typically sell the best. And for the bold ones, I go up to two of each rank six and three of each rank four and usually one each for the rest. So as you can see, it's been a little while since I um, since I crafted. So there's a, a bunch of stuff here. Um, I'm also logged into my blacksmith. So I'll just very quickly go and add stuff to the crafting queue here. Uh, blacksmithing. And uh, what I see here, if we, if we blast down here. Sabatons. I'm gonna need a one rank four and two rank sixes. Then I need greaves. We need all of the low ranks. One rank two. No, that was the wrong button. One rank. One rank. No, not that one. Rank three Q. Um, rank four. One rank four. And the two rank sixes. And then we need waste guard. We need two rank four and two rank six. And um, that's about it. Now we need some vestiges because I'm um, I'm a little low on those. We can just craft all. I have the uh, more than enough uh, quartite crystals and all that jazz. I'm sure I'm. If I scroll down, I'm almost completely out of uh, jewel crafting legendaries, but I don't think I have too many essences. So not, um, I'll just show you how we do it with blacksmithing. It's the same for literally every other profession, so it's like it doesn't really matter. Um, and we need more luminous flux, of course. Of course, I'm running out on that. Luckily, I'm here, so we get that very easily. Just get 2k. Literally, physically impossible to buy too much Luminous Flux because I'll just use it for Shadow Ghast Ingots anyway. Um, although I have done a, a large scale Shadow Ghast Ingot crafting session already, so we're pretty, pretty stocked on those, thankfully. So, um, so that's it. That's gonna, we'll finish crafting these, mail them over to my banker, and then obviously it's just about posting them back to the auction house. Oh, our Brill Shards run out as well. And that's the jewel crafting trainer. So obviously being in one of these faction cities or covenant cities is where you want to craft because you get easy access to the Orbreal shards with the vendor discount. So since my death knight is a goblin, this is my guy who buys all of my Orbreal shards and mails them around. Um, we can probably buy another thousand and mail them to my other legendary crafter while we're here. I think that's probably a good idea. And then we'll uh, goblin rocket jump over to the mailbox. Mail selected. Obviously, I have a mailing operation to just send the doll to my um, to my banker. We'll mail these over to my other crafter, so he's ready to rumble. And then uh, it's back here. Well, you can see that we already have a couple of sales coming in. And uh, this week's sales, I've not collected them quite yet, 841k, so that's, uh, I think that's a little lower than last week, but not like horrendously bad. Um, and then we just run another post scan, and now we'll add a couple of uh, legendaries that I've not had on the auction house and that are most likely going to be profitable. Wow, 25k for Umberhide Waste Guard. Yeah, look at all of these greaves. All of the, all of the greaves ranks I have are profitable, very nice. Very nice indeed. 
Uh, wow, 61k for the uh, rank 6 Shadow Gas Waste card. That's incredible. So yeah, that's how I do it with Legendaries. Pretty simple. And then, as often as I can, uh, or can be bothered, I've favorited a Cancel Scan for just rank 4s and just rank 5 and 6. And I do these two Cancel Scans as often as I can be bothered. I should probably do one right now. Obviously, this is the rank 5 and 6, the uh, highest value Legendaries. Some of these are below my min price. Most of them are um, profitable and stuff that I want to cancel scan and under cut or cancel and, and repost essentially because I would be making a profit at these prices. So that's really as often as you can be bothered, particularly just after the reset. That's where you're making most of your, monies in, uh, most of your money in legendaries. So that's how I do legendaries. Uh, now let's take a look at the overall numbers and see how this week went. All right, so finally the numbers. And they are looking good. They are looking pretty good. So um, the big stuff, 42.6 million right now. So that's almost a million more than last week. 926k actually to be precise. Um, so obviously that's really, really, really good. Um, very, very happy about that. And we can see that's been driven to, driven to a pretty significant degree this week by uh, sales on my other realms. I made about 500k profit on Draenor, and then the rest on the other realms. Um, so that's pretty good, that's pretty good. We had some, um, a couple of expensive sales. I sold a Cuddly Battle Pet on the Shatar, and I sold a Jeweled Onyx Panther on Sylvanas. I used to craft on Sylvanas, I have a lot of crafted stuff there, because it used to be my main realm back in Legion. Uh, I raided there, uh, and just sitting on 1 million there now, where I used to actually, Sylvanas was the first realm I gold capped on. Incidentally, and now not even close. Um, so I bought some expensive stuff and then I transferred some gold over, and I don't even know where all the gold went. I started buying battle pets as well. Uh, but that's an aside. Um, but yeah, Shatar is steadily growing. This is my by far my best battle pet realm. Absolutely fantastic realm. And it continues to be so. Um, so very good. Another 150k. Up to 3.7 mil. Uh, almost past a, uh, 5 million. We didn't sell any, or I didn't sell any any of the ore, I have so much BFA ore on Twilight's Hammer, still. Didn't sell any of that this week, but, but that's fine. Um, sales on Draenor were lower this week, but I hardly cancelled scanned at all. Because um, I spent a good chunk of my gaming time this week testing out New World, essentially. Uh, which meant a lot less um, cancel scans on uh, on Wednesday and Thursday. And then on top of that, uh, my wife has fractured her foot. Which means that I'm effectively a single dad for a, a couple of weeks going forward. And that's going to take, uh, pull me away from the computer quite a bit. So uh, it is what it is. Means a little less uh, less gaming time and I've been spending a little less on it on retail WoW and WoW in general. Um, just lately. Just because I've been not planning to, I don't think I'll main game New World or anything like that. But like any expansion launch, any new pr MMO launch, it's almost always fun. Uh, during the first couple of weeks so just being part of that when it's fresh for everyone and it's exciting for everyone is just something I want to do um, so um, yeah I've been making a couple of videos uh, about it as well uh, probably make a couple more at least and we'll see where it takes us I'm just trying to figure out how that game works from the scratch but uh, for those of you who aren't interested in that we're uh, not going to talk much more about it um, gold wise yeah I'm quite happy considering my my sort of reduced effort on Draenor. I did get in two or three repost sessions on my other realms. Um, and that's why I think I got so much as I got with, uh, with f almost 500k in sales on my off realms, which is fantastic. We had the same last week, but that was due to um, a massive island expedition gear mailbox. So I doubt we'll see that every week. Uh, but if we'll get lucky in some market on some of these realms every week, then I'm, I'm going to be really happy. Uh, I also invested, finally invested in some materials on Twisting Nether. Definitely want to invest some more because that already started driving more sales. Uh, and I probably want to spend more gold on Ravencrest as well to keep bringing in the, uh, bringing the auction house value up and thus driving more sales. But yeah, overall very, very happy about how this week went. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. We'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye guys.